Welcome to the final episode of Animal Behavior Explained on Wild Culture, where we delve into the intriguing dynamics of instincts versus learned behaviors in the animal kingdom. Today, we'll investigate these two fascinating aspects of animal behavior, exploring examples from the wild, dissecting compelling case studies, and drawing parallels to our own human behaviors. Ready to embark on this fascinating journey? Stay tuned. Let's begin by understanding the terms instincts and learned behaviors. Instincts are innate, automatic responses to specific stimuli. They're hardwired into an animal's genetic makeup, like a bird knowing how to build a nest without being taught. On the other hand, learned behaviors are acquired through experience or from observing others. For instance, a young fox learning to hunt by watching its parent. The key difference between the two lies in their origin. Instincts are inherited while learned behaviors are, well, learned. Each plays a crucial role in an animal's survival and adaptation to its environment. With these definitions in mind, we can proceed to explore intriguing examples from the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom is rich with examples of both instincts and learned behaviors. A captivating case of instinctual behavior can be observed in the world of sea turtles. Just moments after hatching, these tiny creatures make a beeline for the ocean. This remarkable journey, known as the hatchling dash, is not taught to them by their parents. Instead, it's an inherent instinct, a pre-programmed behavior that guides them to their watery home. On the flip side, let's take a look at the clever New Caledonian crows. These birds are renowned for their ability to craft and use tools, a behavior that's not instinctive but learned. They fashion hooks from twigs, using them to extract insects from tree bark. This knowledge is passed down from generation to generation, showcasing the power of learned behaviors in the animal kingdom. Among mammals, we see a fascinating blend of both instincts and learned behaviors. A newborn foal, for instance, is able to stand and walk within just an hour of birth, a clear example of instinctual behavior. However, as the foal grows, it learns more complex behaviors from its mother and herd, like social dynamics and survival strategies. In the realm of birds, instincts play a pivotal role. Consider the Arctic Tern, a bird known for its epic migratory journey. Each year it travels from its breeding grounds in the Arctic to the Antarctic and back again, a round trip of over 20,000 miles. Remarkably, this bird doesn't learn the route from its parents. Instead, it's an instinctual behavior, genetically coded into each turn. Now, let's shift our focus to the world of insects. Honeybees offer a classic example of learned behavior. Forager bees perform a waggle dance to communicate the location of food sources to their hive mates. This complex behavior is learned from other bees in the hive, demonstrating the remarkable capacity for learning even in tiny insects. In the wild, the line between instinctive and learned behavior is often blurred. Predatory cats, for instance, are born with a natural instinct to hunt. However, the specific techniques they use to stalk and capture their prey are learned from observing their mothers. These examples clearly illustrate how instincts and learned behaviors play a vital role in the survival and adaptation of animals. Let's delve deeper into some case studies that showcase how instincts and learned behaviors impact animal survival. Consider the monarch butterfly, a creature whose life is a fascinating dance between instinct and learned behavior. Every year, millions of these butterflies undertake a journey over 2,000 miles long from Canada to Mexico, a voyage they have never made before. This incredible feat is driven purely by instinct, as the butterflies are guided by an internal compass that scientists believe is influenced by the Earth's magnetic field. On the other hand, let's visit the world of dolphins, specifically bottlenose dolphins. These intelligent marine creatures display a remarkable capacity for learned behavior. In Shark Bay, Western Australia, some bottlenose dolphins have been observed using sea sponges as a tool to protect their snouts while foraging on the ocean floor, a behavior known as sponging. Interestingly, this behavior is not instinctive. Young dolphins learn it from their mothers, highlighting the role of social learning in the animal kingdom. Our next case study takes us to the African savannas, home to the majestic elephant. Elephants are known for their extraordinary memory, which is a critical component of their survival. For instance, older matriarchs leading the herds 
remember the locations of distant water sources and lead their families to them during droughts. This is a learned behavior, passed down from generation to generation, ensuring the survival of the herd. Finally, let's look at the honeybee, a tiny creature with a huge impact. Honeybees perform a waggle dance to communicate the location of food sources to their hive mates. This dance, intricate and precise, is an instinctive behavior, hardwired into the bee's genetic code. However, bees also exhibit learned behaviors. They can remember colors, shapes, and patterns, allowing them to recognize and remember flowers that yield the best nectar. These case studies highlight the fascinating interplay between instincts and learned behaviors in the animal kingdom. From the monarch butterfly's instinctive migration to the dolphin's learned use of tools, from the elephant's memory of water sources to the honeybee's dance communication, each example underscores the importance of these behaviors in animal survival and adaptation. Whether it's instinct guiding the annual migration of butterflies, or learned behavior leading dolphins to use tools, each serves a critical role in the survival and adaptation of these species. It's the blend of these instinctive and learned behaviors that create the wonderfully complex tapestry of life on Earth. These case studies emphasize the importance of both instincts and learned behaviors in the animal kingdom. Interestingly, we can draw parallels between animal instincts and behaviors and our own human behaviors. Just like animals, we humans also exhibit a mix of instinctive and learned behaviors. For instance, a newborn baby's instinct to grasp a finger, much like a fledgling bird, instinctively knows how to fly. On the other hand, our ability to read, write, or ride a bicycle are learned behaviors, akin to a young dolphin learning to use a sponge to protect its snout while foraging for food. Consider another fascinating analogy. The way a pack of wolves works together to hunt echoes our own human tendency to collaborate and work in teams. Just as the alpha wolf leads its pack, so do we humans look to leaders to guide us. These analogies not only make the concept of instincts and learned behaviors more relatable, but also help us better understand our own behaviors and instincts. Our pets also exhibit a mix of instincts and learned behaviors. Take, for instance, a cat that needs its paws. This is an instinctual behavior, harking back to its wild ancestors who needed to soften their sleeping areas. On the other hand, a dog that sits when you hold up a treat has learned this behavior through training. Now, consider birds. Their instinct to fly is innate, yet they learn specific flight patterns and migration routes from their flock. Similarly, a pet rabbit instinctively knows to burrow, but it learns from its environment where it's safe to do so. Even fish, often considered simple creatures, have instinctual behaviors like swimming in schools for protection, but also learn from their tank mates about food sources. This interplay between instinct and learning helps our pets adapt to their domesticated lives, it shapes their behaviors and, in turn, our relationships with them. Our pet's behavior is a fascinating mix of natural instincts and behaviors learned from their environment and us, their human companions. As we wrap up our exploration of instincts versus learned behaviors, let's quickly summarize the key points. We've dived into the fascinating world of animal kingdom, learning the difference between instincts, those automatic responses hardwired into an animal's DNA, and learned behaviors, the skills animals acquire as they interact with their environment. We've witnessed how these behaviors manifest in various species and even drawn parallels to our own human behaviors. Remember the case studies? They showed us the profound impact of these behaviors on animal survival and adaptation. And we also found out how these instincts and learned behaviors play out in our beloved pets. Isn't it fascinating to see the grand tapestry of life interconnected in such intricate ways now here's a thought to ponder. Can you think of any unique instinctual behaviors or learned skills in your pets or other animals you've observed? We'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Share them in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey into the world of animal behavior. We hope you've enjoyed unraveling the mysteries of instincts and learned behaviors as much as we have. If you found this video enlightening, we invite you to like it and subscribe to our channel to be a part of our future explorations. Your thoughts and insights are always welcome in the comments section. We look forward to exploring more intriguing topics with you on wild culture. Until then stay curious and keep exploring.